Good morning, family. I wanted to share this with you guys this morning. I, um, while I was at work yesterday, I got a call from my daughter. Yesterday, I had given her per permission to um, go to a restaurant um, in the next town over with um, some girls that she hang out with. Um, I'm trying to give her her independence because I was overprotective of her. So I agreed to let her go to this restaurant. And I think it was three other girls that she go to school with that they, they all went together. So I get a call while I'm at work and she says that some man at this restaurant um, started harassing her. That, uh, I assumed that she was going, she said she was going to eat pho. So I don't know what pho is. I thought it was some type of African meal or something. I just looked it up and it's not. It's a Vietnamese dish. Okay. But at the time when she called me, I thought it was some, uh, she was at an African restaurant or something. Cause, uh, I think we have a lot of new restaurants around and I just thought it was an African restaurant when she said pho, right? So she's like these, this, the, everybody in the restaurant was harassing them <laughs> over a tip. She said that, um, a man came up to their table and gave them a whole lecture about how in this country, you're supposed to tip. That's what he told them. In this country, you're supposed to tip. This is a Vietnamese person harassing my child, okay? Teenager, 16, okay? Um, then he goes on to say, tell the children that uh, you people... We had problems or issues with you people because you never tip. Okay. So my daughter told me, she said, this is my first time here. She, my daughter is very, very like. I don't want to say innocent because no teenager is innocent. She's just not, she's just not, um, experienced with what the real world is she's not experienced okay so she didn't even realize that the people were making racist comments to her you know so um she told me that they got up and left and came into the parking lot i'm in the parking lot right now i i got up early before i came to work to come and see what this place looked like and before they opened because I don't want to come while they're open because I'm already hot, right? And I don't need to go to jail, okay? So I wanted to come before they even opened up so I could do what I need to do. And um, followed her to the parking lot, um, harassed them some more uh, about a tip. So I asked my daughter, what did you say? She said, I told them that I left $5 and... And blah, 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 blah. And I was like, why didn't you cuss him the fuck out? She said, well, I did tell him this and I tell him that. Um, that he's not my father, you know. And my poor child don't even know how to cuss a bitch out. Okay? That's how fucking, like, um, unexperienced she is. And I didn't just start telling her to defend herself. I've been telling her since she was born to defend herself. I And I've always told her that if an adult approaches you in an inappropriate way, you call me. So at least she did that right. She called me. Unfortunately, I was an hour away at work. So even if I left work, I wouldn't be able to make it there in time enough. You know? So I said, did he touch you? She was like, no. And I was like... Go home. I said, take, I said, just leave, just go home. I didn't know what else to tell her to do. Cut. 
if he didn't put his hands on her, I don't think she can call the cops. You know what I mean? She wasn't there by herself. She was with some girls, right? So I'm thinking, okay, I'm all, I'm I'm boiling over from the thing she told me. I got mad at her, so I hung up the phone. So um, these people know who to approach. Uh, they knew that the, that it was just kids. They knew that, and they figured they would exercise their racism on the kids. Okay, my thing is. Oh, another thing that the racist owner of this restaurant told the kids is that we don't have to serve y'all. And I thought to myself, if you have a pro first of all, the nerve of you, the nerve of you, you're Vietnamese and you're in, um, in the United States tell telling somebody you don't have to serve them, the nerve. The MF and nerve of you, really. We black people have enough to deal with out of pink people. Pink people, you know what I mean. We deal with their racism on a daily basis. We have our hands full with that. And then you people from another country going to come up, come over here and try to um, harass us with racism too. The nerve. The very effing nerve of you. So I'm going to show you guys the restaurant. It's still dark out here. Yeah. It's at the beach, actually. We don't live too far from here. So, okay. I'm going to show you this restaurant because I think they need to be put on blast. This is the restaurant. It's just a little hole in the wall. Uh, it's called, it's called um, Ming's Bistro Vietnamese Restaurant. Look at me. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys get a good look at this place. This is the racist restaurant that wanted, attack, wanted to attack uh, teenage girls come in there just to eat, have a good time. This is it. Oh, God. I'm trying to get it. My camera isn't getting it. Now, this restaurant is located in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Rehoboth Beach, Delaware is called Ming's Bistro Restaurant. Vietnamese cuisine. First of all, I don't want to eat y'all cat food anyway. I don't even know why my daughter would want to come here and eat this shit. You know, I don't eat out. And especially with those nasty people, don't they put cat and, and, and eat rats and shit? I, I wouldn't even want to eat here anyway if I did eat out. Okay. So I just wanted to put these people on blast. And if you live in... Um, Rehob it's in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. I don't know if I just said that, but if you live in this area and you got and you look like me, this is a place where you don't want to eat. Okay. What I was going to say earlier is, uh, you people have a problem with our skin and all that kind of shit, right? Why don't you stop us at the door and tell us we can't come in? Don't wait until we eat the food and you treat us like shit the whole time we eating the food and 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 then try to try to get off hyphy and shit when we walking out the door. First of all, if it was an adult that was there, they would have never tried that shit. Okay? They wouldn't have tried it. They felt they had the advantage because the kids, it was kids they were dealing with, okay? This is why I hate to send my child out without me. Cause she don't even know how to defend herself, which I don't know why, but she's nothing like me. Um, while she was sitting inside this restaurant, she told me that when he came over to the table, um, God, I'm trying to memorize this shit because I had a talk with her when she got home. Um, I can't even remember what she said. I was just so pissed off. I, t I, I left my job and I just went home because I couldn't function after she told me 
that this race, racist little mother MFR try to harass her about a tip. So I'm breathing because I'm trying to not cuss in this video. <laughs> as again, as I was saying, if, if it was an adult, they would have never tried that bullshit. Okay. I'm trying to teach my daughter as I had been since she was born to not accept this BS and she deals with it in, in school too, you know? So I be trying to like direct her and tell her what to do. She's hard headed. She thinks she knows everything like most teenagers and she try and she don't want to listen. Okay. Just like not too long ago, she went to uh, a movie theater down this way and was harassed by some old uh, white people. And I told her she should cuss them the F out. But for some reason, she doesn't, I don't know what her problem is, okay? I don't know why she don't have, she just don't have that oomph to, to do it. I, I do, <laughs> okay? Oh, okay, here's what I, I was trying to say. She told me that she, um, when they approached her at the table she was eating at, in the restaurant in front of everybody, that she did not want to get loud because it